Good day everyone. I am Victor G. Samaniego, a former teacher in Sacred Heart College Integrated Basic Education Department. And I would like to thank Ma'am Lori and Sir Loy Alsola for giving me this opportunity to share to you one of the applications that I am using during the new normal. And I am referring to Edfuzzle. Now that you have created your Edfuzzle account, it is time for you to start your first Edfuzzle lesson. And this will be the content of this video presentation. There are different options available for you in creating your Edfuzzle content. So the first way, you can click Add Content. You can upload a video or record a video. So you can access this by clicking Add Content. So let's try first Upload Video. So you have two options. You can choose a file. If you click this, you should have your video saved in your computer. So if you click this, it will open a dialog and it will, allow, it will prompt you to look or to search for that video that you want to upload. Now, the limit, of course, is should not be more than 1 GB. Now, you can also or you also have an option to uh, upload a video that is in your Google Drive. So, just create, click Google Drive. Okay. And then you have to look for the particular video. Let us just say it's the Calabars on March. Then click Select. And then it will be uploaded and it will be ready for editing. The next option is for you to record your video. Now, in order for this to work, you have to uh, download the extension that will allow you to record uh, your desktop and your camera or your tab in Edpuzzle. So, if this is already installed, you have to make sure that your camera is ready and that your microphone is ready. Or you can choose to turn off your camera, then start recording. Now, the other option is for you to search or to paste YouTube URL. Now, on my part, I am creating my own video, but it is difficult, especially for us. Uh, we have different and many jobs. It will be very tedious. It will be very time-consuming if we will create our own videos. But if you have time, you might as well create your own. Now, do not worry if you are not familiar with creating videos because you can look for videos uploaded already in YouTube. Okay, so how are we going to do it? You can just search or paste the URL here. A, for the purpose of this presentation, we will just search for a video in YouTube. So let us just say uh, we will choose, uh, we will look for Uri ng Kalayaan. Okay? Let us just say that we found these three videos and they all look interesting. The next thing that you have to do is to view each video, of course, and then decide for yourself which is best for my students. Of course, you need also to consider the time. Okay, we do not want our students to be watching uh, more than 20 minutes, more than 15 minutes. Okay, because uh, interest, motivation die down as we go or as we watch videos. So, what I usually do is I record my videos under 10 minutes. So, let us just say we found that this is a good video. Okay, we will create, click, we will copy the link and then, and then we will paste the URL here and then click search. When it's done searching, it will display the video that you have chosen. Now, there are different options for you. You can click cut. So, you we cut videos to match our purpose for having students watch that particular video. Now, we can click voice over here, but this is no longer available, especially if you uh, use videos that are uploaded in YouTube. The next important part is the question, and this will be the, the focus of our discussion. 
Okay, so we click questions. We have two available options for questions. So one is multiple choice. So this will be graded automatically. And then open-ended questions for encouraging students to display critical thinking. But this one will be corrected or checked by the teacher. For multiple choice, this will be corrected automatically by the computer. Now, you can insert all these three options anywhere in the video. Okay? You have to decide, you have to reflect, where will I put a multiple choice question? Where will I put an open-ended question? Where will I put a note? Now, in my case, I usually use notes at the beginning, at the end, or at the middle. Depending on the, the objective that I would like my students to acquire or whatever type of knowledge or thinking or skill that I want my student to acquire. You can also use note if you want to direct student to another resources or to another activity. Let us insert first a note. Okay? Again, you can put this anywhere. So in our case, I will be putting it in before or at the start. Here, you can provide student a picture or a link. And for mathematics, you can insert an equation. You can also, uh, you are also allowed to record your own voice for your notes. Now, let us just say that I would like to write in, this is just an introduction in this video. You will be introduced to other names or classifications of freedom. And then you click save. So here in this video, you will be introduced to other names or classification of freedom. So you need to click continue in order for you to continue editing the video. Now, let us just say that you would like your, to test students whether they understand negative and positive freedom. What would be the best option for you? Is it a multiple choice question or is it an open-ended question? Now, if you want to measure knowledge, of course, I think a uh, multiple choice question will be good. Let us just say what type of freedom is manifested in this situation of course this one is not just knowledge because you need to apply your understanding of negative and positive freedom so this is saying naruto was not allowed by his parents to go outside due to pandemic naruto felt that he is not so here we will be writing the options first option is let us just say if this is positive freedom and this one is negative freedom you can add other choices if you want now after you are done with the choices you have to click the correct answer let us just say that the correct answer is um, negative freedom click the correct mark or the check mark and then click save okay now you again have to click continue in order for you to to continue your work but if you have to edit just click this pencil icon if you do not want this multiple choice question you have found another question click delete and after you deleted it then you will have another option to create multiple choice or open-ended questions okay now I would like to measure their ability to think critically or to uh, display higher order thinking skills. So I might click open ended. So I will click here. Uh, can we consider a person doing the service to his or her fellow? a free 
individual or a free person okay so that is an open-ended question of course it's not answerable by yes or no now you can ask your students or you can allow your students to record a response now for differentiation because there are students who would like to speak there are students who would like to write then we allow audio responses so then we can click save okay again you can still add another uh, option here okay an open-ended question and you would like to uh, create a link okay you can post here a google docs link a forum link a google jamboard link or whatever link that you would like your students to work on after watching the video okay so that is how you work on a video if you are done you are done just click finish